What's going on guys? Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist. And I had a recent question come up in the Total Knee Replacement Support Group asking about car transfers, specifically when you're getting discharged from the outpatient surgical center or you're going to and from physical therapy from home. So I'm gonna break this up into two separate videos. The first video, I'm gonna talk about how you set up the front driver passenger seat so that it's easy to get in and out. But just to give you a quick tip, Basically, you're going to slide the seat all the way back. You're going to recline the seat so you have room to swing the leg in. But truthfully, I think the easier method is to just get in the back. So if it was a left total knee replacement, what I would do is I would go on the, pa on the driver's side, assuming you're in the U.S., I would go on the driver's side and I'd come in from that position. If it's a right total knee replacement, I'd come in from the back seat passenger side. So left total knee, driver side, right total knee, passenger side. I come in, notice there's my little handy uh, plastic bag here. This will make sliding across the seat just that much easier. But basically what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna back myself in, I'm gonna come, duck under, and sit on the seat. So right now my legs are just on the floor, my walker would be in front of me. And from this position, what I'm doing is, I'm sliding. I'm sliding myself into the seat. Now my legs are just suspended outside of the vehicle. I slide myself back even further to the point where I can put my non-surgical leg down and I've got my surgical leg up on the seat. I come in all the way across. I can turn into position. I can still buckle. So we, we have the safety. I'm gonna clip in here. Perfect. And what I've got is I've got my leg, my surgical leg up on the seat, my non-surgical leg down on the ground. If you want, if you have a vehicle that's got the room, you can put the leg down. And then when I'm ready to get out, I go out the way I came in. So I unbuckle, I get my leg back up on the seat. And from here, obviously I wouldn't have a phone in my hand to record the video. I slide myself right out. So my leg is outside the door. I come down to the ground, I grab my walker, and I'm ready to go. I go to therapy, I go to whatever I need to do, I go home and I take a nap. So guys, I'll record another video showing you the front seat transfer, but the back seat transfer is just so easy. And my best advice, if you guys stayed to watch this far, my best advice is practice this before you need it. Practice it before you have surgery. Practice it while you're at home in the driveway. Go ahead and pretend you can't bend your knee at all and see if you have the ability to get in and out of the car, front seat, back seat. Um, this way, when you're at the surgical center, when you're going to therapy, when you're groggy, when you're in pain, it's much easier because you've been through the process already. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.